Well, welcome to the 700 Club. Donald Trump is making good on his promise to get his presidency off to a fast start. He's already canceled the Pacific Trade Agreement and frozen all congressional hiring. President Trump has also issued a new executive order that advances a pro-life policy. Jennifer Wishon has the story. On his first official workday, President Donald Trump reinstated the so-called Mexico City policy. It forbids non-government groups in other countries that receive money from Washington from performing or promoting abortions. What message is he sending here? Does he see the elimination, uh, reduction of abortions as an American value? And also here at home, can pro-life Americans expect him to put his signature on legislation that will defund Planned Parenthood? Well, I think the president, it's no secret, has made himself made it very clear that he's a pro-life president. He wants to stand up for all Americans, including the unborn. And I think the reinstatement of this policy um, is not just something that echoes that value, but respects taxpayer funding as well and ensures that we're standing up not just for, uh, for life, for life of the unborn, but for also taxpayer funds that are being spent overseas to perform an action that is contrary to the values of this president. Um, and, and I think continue to further illustrate not just to the folks here in this country, but around the world of what a value we place on life. It's a first nod to evangelicals who overwhelmingly supported his candidacy. Press Secretary um, Sean Spicer's way, just, first press started, briefing uh, signaled a new day in Washington. He called first on the New York Post and second on CBN News, bypassing the mainstream media. Trump's move to reduce abortion comes as the group Live Action releases a new investigation that debunks Planned Parenthood's claim that it provides prenatal services for pregnant women. We don't offer prenatal care at Planned Parenthood. We specialize in abortions. You know, that's what our ultrasounds are for, to see how far along the um, patient is. President Trump today meets with automakers to discuss American manufacturing, one of the sectors of the economy he's working to reinvigorate. That's what he's fighting for, is that man or woman out there that's doing everything they can right, but can't catch a break. Jennifer Wishon, CBN News, Washington. Well, it's a new day in Washington, and we certainly applaud what the new president is doing. Uh, this is going to be one rapid 100 days. In other news, at least 20 people were killed in an outbreak of tornadoes and thunderstorms in the South this weekend, including 15 in Georgia. Charlene Aaron has that story. Dude, I think that's a tornado. Search and rescue operations are underway in Georgia and Mississippi after deadly storms tore through the region. It looks like a nuclear bomb went off. This mobile home park in Adel, Georgia was flattened to the ground. Residents say all this damage happened in a matter of minutes. We covered each other and um, we just laid there and we prayed. Lord, please let it pass over, let it pass over. States of emergency have been declared in Georgia and Mississippi. We do have crews out there clearing the roadways, but the neighborhoods are damaged so severely that it's going to take a while. Albany, Georgia was hit hard. CBN's Operation Blessing is on the ground there, offering people much needed help. Behind me is the home of Miss Williams, where her and her 89-year-old mom was living when this tree slammed through the roof of her house. But this is not the first time this community has been hit hard. Just earlier this month, straight line winds devastated another portion of this community, bringing extensive damage. So this is just a devastating and challenging time for this community. And so Operation Blessings working with local churches and local emergency management to assess the area and bring in volunteers and our equipment to help this community get back on their feet. You just don't know where to go. And so if somebody's coming to help you, you accept all the help you can get to know that there are people out there that care. Charlene Aaron, CBN News. Well, Operation Blessing is accepting volunteers to help people recover from this deadly tornado in Albany, Georgia. Uh, you need to be able to provide your own housing. There won't, the Operation Blessing isn't equipped to provide housing at this event, but uh, if you have an RV and, can, and, and are willing to help, uh, the need is tremendous. This is the second time this month Albany, Georgia has been hit with a horrible storm. So volunteers will meet Monday through Saturday at 8 a.m. at the New Birth Fellowship Church, 2106 Radian Springs Road in Albany. And if you want more information, here's a number for you, 
347, oh, oh, I'm sorry, 374-0944. So let's say it again, 757-374-0944. We'll be back with more of the 700 Club after this. Fifteen years ago, Scott Miller was unemployed on welfare and living with his wife and five children in a cramped trailer. The good news is he didn't stay there. Scott went from relying on food stamps to becoming the mayor of his city. Scott Miller of San Jacinto, California, has a hard time believing his own success story. If somebody would have told me years ago, living on welfare, one day I'd be mayor of a city, I would have said, you're talking to the wrong guy. Scott credits his surprising success to a life principle he and his wife Linda embraced over 15 years ago. I believe 100% giving was the foundational key to get me out of the place I was in. That place was unemployed and on welfare, with a wife and five kids to support. It began when Scott was laid off from what he thought was a secure job in the aviation industry. We had five kids and our two youngest were still in diapers. And how do we make ends meet? I started looking for work. So it was very tough because here I was, a guy that was used to working hard, getting out there. Scott and Linda cut every expense they could and moved into a cramped trailer to save money. Even then, they had to rely on food stamps. We actually had coupon books where you stood at the register and you tore off a coupon that said $10. It is humbling, it is difficult. Several years into their struggle, Scott and Linda heard a message at church that changed the way they looked at money. We started learning about this whole idea that the Lord wanted us to be givers, to be able to take even out of our need and give. I didn't know how we would do it, but I've always believed that if God said it, it was true. The couple began tithing to their church they even gave to their church's food bank. Because we started to realize that God had a different way. But change would come slowly, and at times, Scott became frustrated. I remember thinking, what is my future really gonna be like? Is this ever gonna change? Over the next several years, Scott and Linda continued to tithe faithfully. And not only to tithe, they increased their giving and joined the 700 Club. Before long, Scott started landing more contract jobs. A slow trickle, yes. God was bringing the proof that we could give and we could test him and he would come through. Finally, Scott got a full-time job with the county of San Jacinto as a computer engineer. The couple eagerly got off welfare. Eventually, they traded in their trailer for a new house in the beautiful San Jacinto Valley. It was a marathon, not a race. Very incremental. I didn't go from food stamps to having a great job overnight. It's like God spoon fed me and took me step by step through the process of trusting him more and more. Within two years, Scott earned two promotions and raises. So the Millers increased their giving to CBN. When you give to CBN, it's one of the best investments you'll ever make. I can't imagine not giving to the 700 Club. You could see that it's going to a good work because they're showing you the proof. In 2010, Scott followed God's direction into city leadership. He won his first election to become mayor of San Jacinto. Today, he's still serving his city as deputy mayor. When you give, God opens up your hands and he says, whatever you have in your hands, I'll bless it and you'll do the amazing with it. The number one thing that you gotta learn when you start tithing is this, God's not trying to take something from you. He's trying to get something to you. Here's a promise for you it's from Psalm 128. Blessed are all who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. You will eat the fruit of your labor. Blessings and prosperity will be yours. Thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. Now this isn't a one-time thing. This is a lifetime where you walk in the awe of God Almighty and you say, I love him and I want to obey his commandments. When you live that way, that promise becomes true for you. Well, John Richards is a master hairstylist and his clients come from all parts of the world. 
But John still remembers the days when he lost his first salon and was soon $52,000 in debt. With no relief in sight, he prayed for a miracle. John Richards has been a hairstylist for more than 30 years. In the late 90s, he owned a successful salon, but he made an honest yet costly mistake. The IRS reclassified all of his stylists as employees and then demanded back taxes on their wages. When the stylists could no longer be independent contractors, they all left. They walked out on me. I had this huge rent. It was $2,200 a month. And they left me. I was like left alone. John lost his business. That's when he started using credit cards to pay his bills and household expenses. By 2002, John and his wife Lynette were $52,000 in debt. At that point, it was the lowest we had been. And, and I always knew God always takes care of us. So I, I, I always had that assurance, but it was tough. John and Lynette had been CBN partners since 1983. Even though money was tight, they kept giving to the 700 Club. That was one thing that Lynette really wanted to make sure we kept doing. Keep tithing, we have to honor God. We have to honor God no matter what. And in 2002, I started asking God for a financial miracle. And so I, every day, every morning, I prayed, God, I need a miracle, God, I need a miracle. One afternoon while watching the 700 Club, John and Lynette joined Pat and Gordon as they prayed. And Pat got done praying and nothing happened. And I just kind of shrugged my shoulders and I looked down and went, okay, Lord, I'm... And then something really interesting happened. There's four seconds left of the program, and Gordon said, excuse me, Dad. There's someone named John, and you're praying for a financial miracle. God's heard your prayer. He's going to give you that. What? And I, I looked at my wife and said, what did he just say? Because the show was over. And I was a little hesitant, but he, God proves himself time and time again. Several months later, their financial miracle began to unfold. John went by his old salon and noticed that it was still empty. He immediately called his former landlord. So he came back with this number of, of a, less than a third what I was paying for before. I said, Cliff, just check that out. That seemed to be too good to be true. So he called me the next day. He goes, well, it's, it's not right. It's $600 a month. I said, I'll take it. So that was the beginning of my financial miracle. The first two years, I doubled what I took in the year before. And in 2005, we paid off all of our debt. Then in 2006, my business really started taking off. One year, I believe it was 2007, I took on just shy of $400,000 in my business. Then in 2008, the stock market took a dive. Most of John's clients paid top dollar for hair extensions. But when the economy tanked, many of them disappeared. And he was facing the possibility of losing his salon again. We need another moment. We need another miracle. So we prayed, and that's when we decided to jump to a founders club. It's like, Lord, your word says to give. And the measure that you give is the measure you'll be receiving. So we did that. The next day, we jumped to a Founders Club. My business started doing better, but something really amazing happened in 2012. It was February <clears throat> that this girl showed up. Her name is Becky, and she wanted extensions, but nobody could do her hair. I'm one of two people that can do hair extensions after chemo on one inch of hair. And this is so God that God would do something like this. Only God could do I never saw this coming. A local news station covered Becky's transformation. It was posted on YouTube and Facebook. And that thing went viral. I have people coming in from Peru, Belgium, Australia, Philippines. John is already booking appointments for next year, and he and Lynette continue to support the ministries of CBN. It's not that God needs our money. It's because we're obedient to his word. And out of sacrifice, God uses that. And so we are to help others, and we are to give selflessly, and it's a joy to give. You want to go on a ride of a lifetime? Give. I can't explain it. I don't know how he does it, but it's God's, it's God's rule. Given it shall be given to you. It's his word, and here's his word from 2 Corinthians. Remember this, a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop. But the one who plants generously will get a generous crop, for God loves the person who gives cheerfully. And God will generously provide all you need. Then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others. I've got some great news. Some CBN partners, just like John and Lynette say, we love giving to CBN. They're from Oklahoma, and they're challenging you $60,000.
Let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing over this, and we ask for the increase that only you can give, 30, 60, 100 fold. You watch over your word to perform it, Lord God, and you always respond to faith. So Lord, I just ask that you would instill faith in people watching right now. Let them know that you have their future. Let them know how much you love them, for we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. $60,000 is the challenge. 41 minutes, 52 seconds is the clock. What are we asking you to do? We're asking you to join the 700 Club. How much is that? Well, it's $20 a month, 65 cents a day. Some of you can join at a higher level. We have 700 Club Gold for you at $40 a month, and then 1,000 Club, that's $1,000 a year, and that breaks out to $84 a month. At whatever level, call us now, 1-800-700-7000, because we have a $60,000 challenge, and that means your giving is automatically matched up to and including $60,000. So call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Terry? Well, when you join the 700 Club, we have a gift for you. It's Pat and Gordon's new DVD. It's called The Secret Kingdom and the Law of Expectation. If you need a miracle in your marriage, a healing in your body, or a financial breakthrough, nothing is impossible when you understand the secrets to God's kingdom power. Take a look. Years ago, my father had a great revelation. If Jesus was God, then everything he said was a law of the universe. And it applies to everybody. It applies to Christians. It applies to non-Christians. These spiritual laws were the foundation of his best-selling book, The Secret Kingdom. In Pat Robertson's The Secret Kingdom, you'll learn how God's kingdom works, the principles that produce exceptional growth and development, the keys that build success in finances, health, relationships, and much more. We have compiled those teachings on this DVD for you as well as my teaching called The Law of Expectation, which was inspired by the laws of the secret kingdom. What you expect the future to be, you can cause it to be just merely by the fact that you believe it. Now for the first time in one DVD, The Secret Kingdom and The Law of Expectation. God has built some basic principles into the universe and especially in the world that we live in. Pat has compiled revelation that he's gotten from that in his New York Times bestseller, The Secret Kingdom, and now we've put it here on this DVD, and it's yours. We want you to have it. If there are principles like this, we need to know about them so we can live with them, be blessed by them, thrive within it. We want you to have this, as well as Gordon's teaching on the law of expectation. This is yours when you join the 700 Club, so call our toll-free number now, 1-800-700-7000. And we're in the middle of a challenge now, so that means when you call, your dollar will be matched dollar for dollar, up to and including $60,000. Gordon? More than a third of millennials are living with their parents, mainly because they can't afford to live on their own. But not Jordan and Aaron Zatoun. They are already successful real estate brokers who never worry about a downturn in the market. That's because they've discovered a financial strategy that has multiplied their profits for the past six years. Jordan and Aaron Zatoun work hard and play hard. They stay fit, love a good meal, and like many millennials, they go online a lot and stay connected through social media. But both admit they need to be careful because it's easy to get sucked into a selfie mindset. There's just a lot of people just trying to get and gather and absorb as much as they can for self-interest and, and to, to look, look good as far as outfits or where they live or what car they drive. Everyone's hyper-competitive and everyone's trying to get ahead. The Zatoons try hard to stay focused on other things. We prioritized when we first got married, God is number one, and then family number two, and then um, our jobs and career number three. And while they're very successful real estate brokers, their goal isn't to build a big bank account so they can buy things for themselves. Instead, they choose to invest in promoting God and giving to others. I believe that's what the Lord's put me here for. The Zatoons tithe to their church and are CBN partners. They increase their giving to CBN on a regular basis. I made a, a covenant in my heart with the Lord that I would that I would give five percent more a year, and in doing that, I I just it was a kind of a step of faith, and I realized, well, He really is my provider, so I can trust Him with these extra little bits every month and every year. 
Since giving more, they've seen their profits consistently increase for the past six years. Jordan and Aaron credit their success to God and encourage others to put God first in their lives and give. We're not any different or any more special than the guy next to us. I think we've just found this key to the kingdom in a way to um, partner with God and what He's doing on the earth. I think it's about your heart posture towards the Lord um, and towards the thing that you're giving to. The Zatoons especially like giving to CBN because of how CBN uses social media to share stories of God's love. I repost them on my Facebook and it's just like a nice tool that the Lord's using nowadays to plant seeds in people and just maybe reach out to them. Well, I just know in my life that um, the Lord and He's filled me with His love and, and His Spirit and it just makes me come alive and I know that that really is everything in life and so if I can partner with God and bringing that same message to millions of people across the world through what CBN is doing, then that's just what an amazing opportunity and a privilege. I would encourage others to be partners with CBN because it really has brought so much blessing to our life. Like there's honestly no better organization out there to give to as far as Christian ministries. Here's the promise for you it's from Matthew 25. To those who use well what they are given, even more will be given and they will have an abundance. But from those who do nothing, even what little they have will be taken away. Jordan and Aaron resolve we're going to use well what we're, we've been given. We're, we want to help other people. We want to be a part of God's kingdom. We want to put His kingdom first. When you do that, all these other things get added unto you. If you want to start doing that, give us a call. 1-800-700-7000. Just say yes. I want to join the 700 Club. We've got a $60,000 challenge. That means your giving is automatically matched up to and including that amount. So call us now, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Hey there, Gordon. Well, when you join the 700 Club, we'll send you our latest DVD. It's from Pat's national bestseller called The Secret Kingdom. Now, this is the first time we've ever offered all the Secret Kingdom teachings on one DVD with a bonus feature of Gordon's teaching on the law of expectation. This DVD could change your life, just like it did for Gary Havens. Take a look. I first read uh, The Secret Kingdom. Yeah, it appeared a time where I had just hit rock bottom. The Secret Kingdom played a big part in Curve's success. It taught us those basic biblical principles that if applied, allowed God to bless us. We have compiled those teachings on this DVD for you, as well as my teaching called The Law of Expectation. Now for the first time in one DVD, The Secret Kingdom and The Law of Expectation. Now what, Gary, what God did for Gary Haven, he can do for you and me. He's no respecter of persons. God has secrets, secrets that he wants to reveal to us, but it's up to us to seek him out. You know, it reminds me of Jeremiah 33, 3, which says, call to me and I will tell you great and mighty things, secret things that you do not know. So God wants to share these things with us because he loves us and he wants to have happy, successful, prosperous lives. We want you to have that too. That's why Gordon and Pat have put together the secret kingdom. Discover the secrets that unlock success and happiness and so much more. We want you to have it. It's our gift to you when you give us a call right now and just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. The number on your screen, 1-800-700-7000 or you can log on to CBN.com. And again, just tell our counselors, hey, I like what you're doing there and I want to join. How much is it? Great question. 65 cents a day, $20 a month is all it takes to become a CBN partner. Now, if you're already there, I just want to say thanks. You're making a huge difference around the world. But if you can do more and a lot of us can, I'd like to challenge you right now to go to your phones and say, I'd like to increase. I want to go up to our gold level. That's just $40 a month. When you go to the gold level, you're going to get three DVDs, one for you and two to give away. If you can go higher, our Thousand Club level, just $84 a month, you're going to get five, one for you, four to give away. We are in the middle of a $60,000 challenge. That means every dollar that you pledge right now will be matched dollar for dollar. So this is a great time to go to your phones and you will get the secret kingdom and the law of expectation. Terry. Well, when you join the 700 Club, you are helping people all over the world. In China, a young girl drew pictures, picked wildflowers, and made wreaths to celebrate the birth of her new baby brother. Then, when he was born, all the celebrations stopped 
and suddenly his family became desperate for help. Chun Yu could hardly wait to meet her baby brother. I picked wild flowers in the mountains and made a wreath he could wear when he got home from the hospital, and I drew a picture of him looking really handsome. But sadly, Soon Song was born with a cleft lip and palate. He was in critical condition and looked like a tiny squirrel. Mr. Gao worried he wouldn't be able to afford surgery for Soon Song because as a farmer, he only makes $9 a week and his wife can't work because she's almost completely deaf. I just hoped for a miracle. Soon Song's cleft lip and palate made it hard for him to eat or drink. It was so bad that I couldn't get close to him. I never gave him the gift I made him. I threw away the wreath and just ripped up the drawing. Meanwhile, Chun Yu came up with a plan. I saved everything I could for surgery for Sun Song. I never spent any money on drinks, even on hot days. But when my dad said it would cost thousands of dollars, I cried. Sun Song stayed inside, malnourished and dehydrated. The few times he went out, people laughed at him and called him a monster. I felt so sorry for my poor little brother. I wanted to protect him. Then a flood drowned the Gao's crops, draining their income. All hope for surgery was lost. I knelt down and begged the doctors to help Sun Song, but they said no. They didn't care about us because we were poor. Shortly after this, CBN came to Sun Song's village. We told the Gao's we'd be happy to provide cleft lip and palate surgery free of charge. It seems like our world immediately went from cloudy to sunny. The surgery was so good, Sun Sun won't even have scars. He's finally starting to grow and can go to school. I know he'll have a good life. Now Sun Song loves to wear the wreaths his sister makes, and he looks as cute as the pictures she draws. Thank you for helping my brother. I know I have never seen you, but you have shown me what true love is. Thank you for bringing us all hope. May you be happy forever. How do you put a price tag on a smile? How do you put a price tag on being able to eat and be nourished, on being able to speak clearly, on being able to be accepted socially, on having the opportunity to hold a job and to marry? You gave this little boy his life. You really did. And you blessed this family with your kindness and generosity. This is just one story among thousands that shares the difference that CBN partners are making in the lives of people in need, not just around the world, but here at home as well. Listen, don't miss out on that. God's given us a great opportunity, you and I, to be a part of what he's wanting to do around the world. Let's do it with gusto and expectancy because God blesses us as we bless others. It's not the reason we do it, but it's just one of the side benefits of it. Here's how you join the 700 Club. You go to your phone and you call our toll-free number, 1-800-700-7000. If you've never joined before and you want a general membership, that's 65 cents a day, $20 a month. If you're already a 700 Club member, go up to 700 Club Gold. That's a gift of $40 a month. If you're there, why not join the 1,000 Club at $84 a month? Or you could go up to the 2,500 Club at $209 a month. Our founders join us at $417 a month. That's $5,000 a year. And then we have a group we call the Chairman's Circle, who join us with gifts of $10,000 or more a year. Ask God what he'd have you do, and then go to your phone and call. We really need to hear from you, and we say thank you in advance. Gordon? All right, I've got some great news. Some partners from Texas and California, they want to add 159,000. Yes. They want to take this all the way to 219,000, and let's pray. Lord, we ask for increase, and we are so thankful for the partners from Texas, from California that made it possible to increase this challenge, open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing they cannot contain. And for those watching, making decisions right now, just speak to them, encourage them. For we ask it in Jesus' name, amen and amen. 219,000 is the challenge, 27 minutes, 46 seconds is the clock. Go to the phone and call us and say, yes, I want to be a part of it. I want to be a part of everything you're doing around the world. Well, as a 700 Club partner, you help people in other countries and Americans right here at home. 
A few years ago, Vince and Tracy Martella had no idea where their next meal was coming from. Vince was in school, Tracy had just lost her job, and sometimes they had to choose between paying the mortgage and feeding their family. The Martella family loves everything baseball, but America's pastime was the last thing on their minds after Tracy was let go at work. I was devastated that I had lost a job because I had thought that would be my career. All I could think was, what am I going to do? How am I going to feed my kids? Vince was working hard to finish trade school, while Tracy took any job she could find, like cleaning houses for friends. We didn't know how we were going to make it. I felt like that was a reflection on me, not providing. And it was, it was hard. I just remember feeling helpless. The more we cut back, the more impossible it looked. Then I just decided at that point, God, you're going to have to do something. The Martellas turned to God for comfort and stayed in constant prayer. Then a friend told them about Operation Blessing Partner Warehouse of Hope, led by founder Craig Parson. A lot of people are still without jobs. People are struggling financially. We want to give people hope. God's using Operation Blessing to provide what we need. Warehouse of Hope provides food to more than 1,500 families in Douglasville, Georgia. I started going every week, and we would make it through. I come home and see those groceries, and I'd know she didn't spend all this money at a grocery store or anywhere else because we didn't have that kind of money. It blew me away. Vince eventually found a job as a property manager, while Tracy started tutoring for a Christian school. They're now on top of their bills and expenses and volunteering with Warehouse of Hope. Not only did it become a ministry to us, but then it was a blessing that we were able to bless some other people. And that was, you know, that was obviously just a great feeling. I mean, when we were hurting, when we didn't have the money, it was a lifesaver. Warehouse of Hope and Operation Blessing definitely put food on my table. Thank you for making it possible for feeding my family. And thank you, if you're a member of the 700 Club, you're part of that. We're feeding together, we're feeding three million Americans every single month. And so many people have more month than money these days and we wanna be there for them and we wanna help them. We wanna help them with what is necessary for their families to give them a hand up, not a hand out, but a hand up uh, to bridge the gap for them. And if you wanna be a part of that, all you have to do is join the 700 Club. A portion of every gift goes into the work of Operation Blessing to help people. Uh, we're working right now in Albany, Georgia with disaster relief teams. Uh, we're working constantly with these food distribution trucks. We're shipping millions of pounds of food every single month. You're a part of all of that when you join with us. So call us, 1-800-700-7000. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy. Thanks, Gordon. Well, let me ask you, are you ready for some positive change in your life? Well, it all starts with changing the way we think. Gordon calls this the law of expectation, and you'll learn how to put it into work in your life in this new DVD combo from Pat and Gordon. Get Pat Robertson's bestseller, The Secret Kingdom, and Gordon Robertson's The Law of Expectation together on DVD for the first time ever. The kingdom has everything we want. Our world is increasingly unstable, but there is hope. Jesus announced to us laws that govern the kingdom of heaven. Discover the immutable laws of God's secret kingdom that can bring you the key to marital bliss, financial success, even physical healing and miracles. Nothing is impossible. That's what God Almighty said. Plus, you'll also learn to overcome fear, shape your future, and expect the goodness of God in your life. Our perception shapes our own reality. Start thinking differently. Two of the most popular and powerful teachings from the Christian Broadcasting Network, The Secret Kingdom and The Law of Expectation, together for the first time on DVD. Go to CBN.com or call 1-800-700-7000 to get your copy today. Wow, that's an exciting promo. I don't know if I can add to that, but I will add this. If you can believe it, you can receive it. It's called the law of expectation. God is good. He loves you. He wants to bless you. And something happens when we believe him, that he just wants to be believed and it moves the blessing. Whatever that thing is that you're praying for, God knows it moves it from his hand 
to your hand. It's called the law of expectation. Are you getting your hopes up this year? Or have you said, no, nah, it's never going to happen? I'm telling you right now, get your hopes up. This is the day. This is your year. We want to help you get your hopes up with this, the secret kingdom and the law of expectation. You're going to discover the secrets that unlock miracles in your life when you get this in your hands. All you have to do to get it is go to your phones right now and just say, yes, I want to join the 700 Club. 1-800-700-7000 is the number to call. Or you can log on to CBN.com. Our counselors are waiting right now to talk to you and take your pledge. Now, if you're already a CBN partner at $20 a month, hey, that's just 65 cents a day, by the way. We've all, pretty much, almost all of us have 65 cents a day that we can find. Usually I find mine in my car somewhere or in the bottom of my purse. But um, $20 a month is all it takes. If you're already there, I just want to say thank you. You are making a huge difference. But it's a brand new year, and I'd like to challenge you right now to go to your phones and say, I want to increase. I want to go up to, our, to the 700 Club Gold level. That's just $40 a month. When you do that, we're going to bless you back with three DVDs. If you go higher, our 1,000 Club level or higher, we're going to bless you with five. We're in the middle of a $219,000 challenge with 21 minutes left on the clock, and I'm going to throw it over to Gordon. Today, Jaseth is a lawyer, a real estate broker, and a financial planner. But years ago, she was struggling to pay her bills. And all that changed when she heard about a simple principle and then put it into practice. Jaseth Basara grew up in a poor family in Jamaica. Early on, she decided her life would be different. But as a Christian, Jaseth's goal wasn't to make money to spend on herself. It was to help others. I felt I would affect the world. One person at a time, starting with my family. Jaseth made good on that promise. She earned a degree and became a commercial lawyer. And while it was challenging to pay her own bills, she also took care of her mother and began saving money to put her two nieces through college. So can you imagine having to pay the mortgage and the utilities and transportation and food, take care of my mother and my nieces. She knew she needed something to change with her finances. Then one day while watching Christian television, she was introduced to tithing, a principle she'd never learned about in church. I was like, if it's so hard to pay the bills, how the heck am I gonna do that? After doing some research on what the Bible says about tithing, she decided she'd test God herself. It made sense because if you go to bed every day and you don't know if you're gonna wake up, it's like you trust God. So if he's able to wake you up every morning and if he's able to give you ideas, wouldn't he be able to also make provision for you? Joseph started tithing and soon saw the results. All of a sudden you have new clients all of a sudden, people are referring business to you. All of a sudden, people know who you are. And if I had stopped tithing, I would have been at a disadvantage. As Joseph continued to tithe, she received salary increases and bonuses. One employer even gave her a car. She was able to buy a home, put her nieces all the way through college, and open a second law office in New York. Still wanting to give more, she recently doubled her giving at church and also became a CBN partner. I saw where they were going in these remote villages in Africa and different places, and I felt a tug on my heart to contribute. I, I can't go to these places, but you guys do, and I'm just passionate about helping the poor. Now a lawyer, real estate broker, and personal financial planner, Jaseth teaches others her secret to financial success. I have to tell people to tithe, but if you're not tithing, you don't even have a leg to stand on. It's just faith and trust and confidence in God and putting God to the test. Faith and trust and confidence in God. When you have that, then you have all the blessings. That's what it takes, faith and confidence and trust in Him. And when you do that, and you do that very tangibly with your finances, that's when the blessings come. Jesus said it, he said it 2,000 years ago, give and it will be given unto you. You have to put it into motion. When you do, that's when the blessings come. If you wanna start doing that, give us a call, 1-800-700-7000. Just say, yes, I wanna join the 700 Club. We've got 17 minutes and 56 seconds left in this wonderful $219,000 challenge. We get the red number up, we've got 71,000 to go, so we need to hear from you. Call us right now, 
707000 Terry? Mint is a young single mom who dotes on her baby boy, but she could have missed out on the joy of being his mother without the help of people like you. When 20-year-old Mint looks into her baby's eyes, she can't help but smile. When I wake up in the morning, I look at King. We smile at each other, then we kiss. I am so happy. Mint has been keeping track of Kin's growth this past year with photos and videos. But all of this almost never happened because an aunt pressured her to get an abortion. I was so scared. My parent didn't know I was pregnant. I didn't even think about raising a child at that point. Then Mint met some people from a ministry supported by CBN's Orphan's Promise. We provided her with a place to live and helped her decide to keep her baby. The house mom then became like a mother to me. When I had problems, I could talk to her. She loved me like a daughter too. Thanks to the support and love she received there, Mint prayed to become a Christian and decided to raise her son. I decided to believe in Jesus. He is real and he will help me. To help Mint support herself as a single mom, Orphan's Promise taught her how to sew. Mint's training turned into a business when we gave her a new sewing machine. Now I make clothes using the sewing machine, and I also repair torn clothing as part of the business. I now have money to feed and take care of both of us. Recently, Mint was able to move into a place of her own. My life is better now. I have a job and I can take care of myself and King. Thank you, Orphan's Promise, for helping me to do work that I love. And thanks for letting me have more time with my son. Mint's baby boy is alive today because there was someone there who encouraged her to give life a chance. Someone there who loved her, cared for her through that pregnancy, and then helped her to find dignity as she moved forward with life for both of them. That's just one of the things you're doing if you're a 700 Club partner. We want to say thank you. I hope you can see the value of what you're doing when you call and invest in the work of CBN. We're working around the world as well as here at home, and we want you to be a part of that. Join the 700 Club today. Join as a general member at 65 cents a day, $20 a month, or join at whatever level God speaks to your heart. If you're already there, go up a level. And when you join today, when you call us at our toll-free number, will you do it using Pledge Express? That's electronic <coughs> monthly giving. It means the bank does all the work. It saves us some administrative costs so we can put even more of your gift into the lives of people like Mint and her son. So when you do that, we want to send you Power for Life teachings. You'll get one of these every month. We want to bless you for using Pledge Express. And we want to say thank you for caring about others. This is how you do it. You call 1-800-700-7000. You say, I want to join the 700 Club. Tell them what club level you'd like to join at and say, I'd like to do it using Pledge Express. We'll get these gifts out to you right away. Gordon? Well, Laura, her mother, and her brother left behind the only home they'd ever known when they fled the war in Syria. Her dad died in the bombing. Laura's new life in a refugee camp looked bleak until her family received practical help and hope for a better future. Laura and her brother Bilal walk through the tents of this refugee camp in Lebanon every day. They and their mother have struggled to get by on their own ever since the Syrian war engulfed the city of Homs and their father was killed. A large bomb hit our house. My dad and some of my relatives died. I still get really sad when I hear other girls saying, Daddy, Daddy, because I can't say that anymore. We barely made it out of Syria, but life here has been very hard. We came with nothing and we relied on charity of our neighbors to survive. Laura's mother told me one of her biggest worries now is her children's future. It really hurt Lara not being able to go to school. She is such a smart child and I just wanted her and Bilal to have a chance to do all the things that I could not. So Heart for Lebanon, with support from CBN's Orphan's Promise, invited Lara and Bilal to attend our Hope Center, a school dedicated to educating refugee children. 
Here, they're learning math, Arabic, English, and music. They're also taught about Jesus Christ. I didn't know about Jesus before coming here. It makes me so happy to know Jesus loves us and is always with us. Jesus is my God and He never lies. So I try to be like Him. I like to write and color and play with my friends. And I really like to sing songs about Jesus. At the center, we also show Superbook in Arabic. The show is amazing because we learn stories from the Bible and I get excited learning about God. I go home each day and tell my mom everything I have learned. My kids tell me about Jesus Christ all the time and when I'm feeling depressed they say I should pray. So I do. It feels great. And every month, Heart for Lebanon and Orphans Promise give food to Laura's family and thousands of other refugees. I can thank Heart for Lebanon and Orphans Promise enough for everything they have done for us. The Christians are the ones who have really helped us. I love Heart for Lebanon and Orphans Promise because they are helping us like God teaches us to help others. Dear God, please bless and take care of the orphans of Syria. And please bless the Christians who have opened the school. Dear Lord, please bless them and keep them safe. Amen. You can be a part of it. You can be a part of helping those refugees fleeing the war in Syria. You can be a part of feeding people right here in America. You can be part of special surgeries. You can be a part of Orphan's Promise. You can be a part of preaching the gospel around the world. How? Just join the 700 Club. If that's you, call us right now, 1-800-700-7000. Just say yes. I want to be a member of the 700 Club. How much is it? It's just $20 a month, 65 cents a day. Some can join at a higher level. We have 700 Club Gold for you at $40 a month. 1,000 Club is $1,000 a year. That breaks out to $84 a month. And when you call, make sure you ask for Pledge Express. That's electronic monthly giving where the bank does all the work. There's no checks to write, and we can send as our gift to you Power for Life monthly teaching CDs. So if you'd like those, ask for Pledge Express when you call. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Well, in today's financial market, it's hard to find a sure investment, isn't it? But there is one guarantee to give you a positive return every time. Pat Robertson talks about it in this segment from our new DVD. The Christian Broadcasting Network presents The Secret Kingdom and the Law of Expectation. Take what you have, give it, and that starts something coming back to you. Uh, it's, it's a law of reciprocity, but it goes beyond that, much beyond it. If you give kindness to somebody, you will get kindness back. If you're merciful to somebody, you'll get merciful back. Now for the first time in one DVD, The Secret Kingdom and the Law of Expectation. The law of reciprocity. You reap what you sow. Just one of the laws of the kingdom, the secret kingdom, that you will learn about on our new DVD that we want you to have. Uh, it's yours when you give us a call right now and just say yes, 1-800-700-7000. If you're already a CBM partner, that's $20 a month, by the way, just 65 cents a day. I just want to say thank you. You are making a huge difference. And when we all come together, we do. We make a huge difference. And I've been encouraging you this telethon to go up to the next level. Why not? It's a brand new year. Let's do something different. And many of you are saying, well, all right, check this out. Carolyn, Carolyn, yes, from Murfreesboro, Tennessee, going up to gold. Carolyn, thank you so much. Mark from Sykesville, Maryland, also going up to gold. Thank you, Mark. Um, here's one from Joyce, Daytona, Texas. I didn't know there was a Daytona in Texas. She's going from gold to thousand club. All right, thank you so much, Joyce. And Carol from Racine, Wisconsin, Racine. I think Terry can tell me if I'm saying that right. She's going to thousand club, $84 a month. That's $1,000 a year. She's going from gold. So again, thank you so much. This is what we'd like to hear. And, uh, you know, just ask the Holy Spirit, what does he want you to do today? I know he wants to bless you, and I know that you want to be a blessing, and we need your help to change this world and spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. So please, go to your phones right now. Terry? Thanks, Wendy. Well, the Lee children have a choice. Eat half-cooked rice or nothing at all, even though eating the rice is, in their words, like chewing bones. This is only one hardship that the family and their parents face, all because they don't have enough clean water. Chung Fa and Xiao Fen spent endless hours together. 
neither sibling really had any other friends. It's because we were stinky. Our faces and hands were always black and dirty, and so were our clothes. The Lees are poor and couldn't afford a cistern, so the children rarely bathed. Their mother couldn't wash their clothes, and the family had little water to drink or cook with. Their rice was always hard. It was like chewing bones and hurt my teeth a lot. I know it was unhealthy for my children to eat half-cooked rice, but if they didn't eat it, they starve. For a while, Mr. Lee dug holes in the ground around his home and drew water from pools and ponds, but it was scarce and often had dead animals in it. Then he discovered another source of water outside their village. But the journey there was dangerous and took four hours round trip. I worried so much about my husband on that road, especially when it was raining and slippery. I wanted to help. So did Chung Fa, but Mr. Lee wouldn't allow his wife or his son to help because he was afraid they'd get hurt. I wanted to make things better for my family, and didn't know what else to do. Then CBN built the family a cistern that brings clean water straight to the Lee's home. We also gave them a water filter. Our lives have completely changed. We have enough water for everything. My face isn't dirty anymore. Our clothes are clean and we smell great. Now I have five friends. We truly appreciate CBN and the good life you have given us. Thank you for our sister. You guys are great. Can you see the difference that something as simple as clean water makes in the lives of people? That's one of the things that CBN partners are providing for people all around the world, and we want to say thank you. You are touching and changing lives. This is one of the reasons we're asking you to go to your phone right now and call. Join the 700 Club if you haven't done it yet. If you've already done it, go up to the next club level. You can make such a difference, and this is the time of year where your giving allows us to take a look at what we're able to do around the world in the coming years. So help us be able to reach out and do it generously. Call now. 1-800-700-7000. Join the 700 Club and make a difference. Gordon? All right, I've got some great news. Partners from Texas want to add to the challenge. They want to add 41,000 to it. Yes. That takes us up to 260,000. And let's pray. Lord, we ask for blessing over this, and we ask for increase. And we ask for blessing for the partners who made it possible to increase this challenge. And we ask for blessing for partners who want to donate now. Be with them, Lord God, encourage them. Open the windows of heaven and pour out a blessing they cannot contain. For we ask it in Jesus' name, amen and amen. 260,000, four minutes and 42 seconds to go. Call us right now, 1-800-700-7000. Well, Nikita is a boy in Ukraine who lost both his parents within a matter of months. The trauma left him fearful and troubled by terrible nightmares. Then one day, Nikita saw an episode of Superbook that set him free from fear and gave him peaceful sleep. Ten-year-old Nikita is a casualty of the war in Ukraine. His father died in the war, and several months later, his mother went missing. She is presumed to be dead. I cry at night because I have no mother. After Nikita lost his parents, his grandparents took him in. He began stealing pictures of his mom and dad from me and putting them under his pillow. Then he began to have nightmares so severe that he screamed and ran out into the night. I sat awake all night in the armchair by his bed to bring him comfort. I never remember these nightmares when I woke up in the morning. The emotional stress and loss of sleep affected Nikita's schoolwork. His teacher noticed the change. He began to perform poorly and always seemed afraid. Then Nikita's grandmother heard about summer camps provided by CBN for children traumatized by the war. She enrolled her grandson right away. Nikita enjoyed playing games and learning new songs and dances. But his favorite entertainment was viewing episodes of CBN's new Superbook program. 
one episode became very special to him. I love the episode where God uses Moses to set the people free from Pharaoh. I learned that God could free me from my fear and nightmares. So Nikita prayed to God for help. God answered my prayers. I don't have nightmares anymore. I'm not afraid. I sleep peacefully now. His nightmares are gone, all thanks to God. Nikita is a good student now. Everything is fine with him. Nikita's grandparents became Christians because of what they saw God do for Nikita through the Superbook program. Thank you so much to all the people who helped us. God healed and changed Nikita and all of us too. Thank you for making this cartoon to help kids live the right way and not be afraid. Be a part of it. Be a part of everything we're doing. Superbook is absolutely incredible. We're seeing huge audiences for it. We're on our way to 50 languages, and there's a broadcast map showing all the places in the world uh, where we're broadcasting Superbook. Once we hit that 50 language total, we're going to change the total and make it 500 languages. You can be a part of it. You can be a part of taking the stories of the Bible to the children of the world. And when they hear these wonderful stories about a God who loves them, a God who gave himself for them, they respond to it and they believe it and lives are changed. You can be a part of that by just picking up the phone and calling us and saying, yes, I want to join. 1-800-700-7000, say yes, I want to join the 700 Club. Let's go to Wendy at the phones. Wendy? Thanks, Gordon. Well, years ago, Pat wrote a book about 10 powerful laws from the Bible. The Secret Kingdom became an instant bestseller. Since then, people all over the world have been benefited from it, and now you can too. Take a look. These are principles for the whole world, just like the law of gravity, and so also with the principles of the kingdom of God. The kingdom has everything we want. It has healing, financial blessing, marital bliss, success in what we do, and more than anything, it has access to God himself. How do we get there? Get the secret kingdom and the law of expectation, available now. This is yours when you give us a call right now, Gordon. All right, we're counting down to the final seconds. We've got 13 seconds left on this $260,000 challenge. Be a part of it. Be a part of everything we're doing. We want to count everything and go way over the top on this wonderful challenge. It's been a great day. Call us, 1-800-700-7000. Well, we had a $260,000 challenge, and I guess that you gave. 268. We we'll leave you with these words from Proverbs. The blessing of the Lord makes one rich, and he adds no sorrow with it. For Terry, for Wendy, for all of us here, God bless you. We'll see you again tomorrow. Come on, Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Ah, sure, life is busy, but I found a way to make a huge difference in people's lives. I guess you could say I'm changing the world right here from home. I bring medical supplies and doctors to people in need and dig wells so that villagers can have clean and safe water to drink. I make it possible to preach the gospel in over a hundred countries, including right here in America. And when disaster strikes, I'm there, providing food thank you, and emergency supplies to give people hope again. Every day, CBN and I are making the world a better place. Here you go. My life is hectic, so I join CBN through Pledge Express. My bank does all the work, and I know that my gift is being used where it's needed most. So become a CBN partner and join Pledge Express, because you can do a world of good right from where you are. Hi, good morning. Are you ready to get started? Based on the national bestseller, it totally revolutionized my life. Thousands of lives changed. It just zeroes in on it and you got it. Universal truths that can work in your life. I'm going to tell you now about the guaranteed secret of success. Now for the first time in one DVD, Pat Robertson's signature teaching, The Secret Kingdom, combined with Gordon Robertson's inspirational message, The Law of Expectation.
Get the secret kingdom and the law of expectation.